Hello everyone, this is lecture 4 of PE544. In today's lecture, we are going to deal with another software, it's called ImageScope. ImageScope is a pathology slide viewing software, it's considered a free software that can be used to compare different stains, annotate different area of interests, and perform image analysis. It's easy to use, it can be used for educational and research purposes. You can download the software from this website. By navigating to that site, you will find this interface of the website. You can search for image scoop and then go to Aperio Image Scoop and then you can download either version of these two versions. If you downloaded the latest one, you will need to fill the following information, your first name, last name, job title, and your role, and your email, and then you can submit. You will find the download link. It will start downloading and then you need to extract it. After extracting, you will find a folder with the same version. If you open it, you will find the software with an extension.exe. You will need to install it on your computer or laptop. After installing it, you can search for it or you can find the shortcut on your desktop. You can open it. This is the interface of the application. It's a very simple with simple tools. You can add images from file and then open image or you can press Ctrl plus O and as mentioned in the previous lecture we are going to use the data set called BACH which contains different whole slide images for example let's open the first five whole slide images with extension.svs it will start to import each of them as you see here if you click on any of these images it will navigate to the corresponding color slide image as you see here you can zoom in and zoom out using two options the first using the mouse scroll wheel and second you will find here the different zoom levels from fit to include the whole slide image on your screen and 1x until 20x and by dragging the region or the whole slide image using the left click of your mouse you can navigate and scroll to any of the regions also you have a small screen here with a thumbnail of the whole slide image you can press on any region and you can easily navigate to it for example if you clicked here you will navigate to that region and you can simply without any scrolling using the scroll wheel you can navigate to 10x or 4x and so on image scope provides simple annotation tools as you see in the toolbar here it starts from the rectangle tool you can press also an f5 function 5 to draw a rectangle as you see here you can draw also a circle or ellipse or an oval like here you can also draw an arrow or press on f7 like here and the more you stretch the arrow the bigger size it will show as you see here you can also use a counter tool to count tissues or nuclei simply by pressing on any point you can start counting as you see here we have 10 points these annotations can be accessed using the annotation function from the view or by pressing ctrl plus n you will find the different annotations here and as you are dealing with the same annotations you will find that the counters is cascaded to the first layer this means you can upend the different layers each layer can contain different counters so simply let's delete that by pressing on the double crosses it will ask you if you need to delete all of the annotations you can press yes it will delete all of them you can add a layer and another layer a third layer and by pressing the layer and start to annotate a region this annotation will be related to the highlighted layer for example if we use this second layer it will start to annotate the second layer and the same for the third layer if you went to the first layer you will find the first region with the lens in micrometers and with the area in micrometers square you can type a description for example tumor or benign region or malignant and so on you can also write a text this text can be used 
as classes or keywords for that region and the same for the second and third layer if we went to the first layer and start to count all of the points we are counting will be related to the layer we highlighted and if we press on the second layer all of the counts will be related to the second layer and if you went to the description of the counters we have eight counts each has an x and y and you also can type a text and description for each if you double clicked on any of the counts or any of the annotations it will navigate to that region for example if you double clicked on five it will go to it and if you went to the first layer and double clicked on it it will go to that annotation if you missed and you need to delete only a single annotation or a single count you simply go to it and press on the delete region here it will update the counts it was 12 and now it's 11 but if you clicked the left cross it will delete the whole layers while the double crosses as mentioned will delete all of the annotations including all layers there is also a pen tool or using function 2 or f2 that can be used as a freehand sketch to a tissue or a depose or a cell using the mouse and it's recommended to use the tool using a pen and a tablet to be more precise for example if we went to annotate that region let's go to 20x and let's press on f2 or pen tool and let's use the mouse while using the pen tool using the mouse it may not be too precise so if you have an artifact or a region that you are not that you need to delete you can simply press on the same line and follow the boundary it will update that region by removing the region that you don't want for example if we press here it will simply update the line as you see let's get another example if we need to annotate that region and as mentioned it's recommended to use a pen and a tablet it will be faster and more precise so I'm, I'm currently using a pen and a tablet and annotating that region as you see instead of using the mouse you can use the pen with more precision and if we need to exclude the inner region in white here we can use the negative pen tool so what included in the negative pen tool will be excluded from the whole region so let's start to annotate that portion as you see here and if we went to the annotation you will find the region labeled with three is the outer region and with four is the inner region so we can type a description here we can say include and here exclude just as a note you can also have different properties or markers or features for these regions such as area and length so as you see here it's about 7.5 micrometer square you can also use the ruler tool to measure the distances if you need by pressing on f4 or function 4 or use the ruler tool from here let's simply measure the height and width by clicking on a point and grabbing that line to another point it will measure the length it's about 175 micrometers in height and also the width for that will be about 56 micrometer and if you want to the annotation the ruler tool will only include the length but not the area you can type the description for each of them you can also change the color of the layer for example for the first layer we are going to change the color to green as you see here the whole annotations are converted from the red color to green let's remove the second and third layers as you see when we deleted the second layer it moved the counters from being a child for that layer to a new layer and didn't delete it automatically because we are only selecting a specific layer that we need to delete let's delete the third layer and let's delete the counters here and here let's delete all regions and keep only these two regions let's go the first one and delete it 
we have only the third and fourth region in the first layer you can change also the name of the layer by simply using a single left click on it and change it to any name for example region 1 so now we have region 1 with only two annotations 3 and 4 the outer to include and the inner to exclude we can change the brightness contrast from adjustments in the image menu or by pressing ctrl plus a you can increase and decrease the brightness as you need for the whole slide image as you see here by decreasing the brightness and increasing the contrast it can change the visualization and the color intensities of the pixels you can manipulate the whole slide image so you can identify the nuclei easily or the tissues and if you need to return it to the original numbers you can press on reset you can also compare between a specific view to the original view by modifying what you need and then press on compare this is the original view with zeros in the brightness and contrast and this is a modified view so you can easily identify the regions you need and to compare if these two configurations or values are correct let's press on reset you can also in the color balance menu you can change the red green and the blue colors as you see here and by default this option will be checked keep brightness constant so when you change any of these three values it will start to update the second two values as you see here but if you uncheck this option by changing any of the three values it will not update other values and you can modify the values you need you can also compare the original view with the modified view let's return it to reset also in the brightness and the contrast you can handle any of the three channels rgb so if you went to the blue color and start to handle the brightness it would only handle the brightness of the blue channel but if we went to the green or red it will be similar to the original and kept with the default values you can decrease the contrast of the green increase the contrast of the red and by changing any of the three values here it will reset other channels so we here have increased the contrast and if you went to the green channel and decrease the contrast of it and return it again to the red channel you will find that it's returned to zeros so you can manipulate any channel individually and if you are working with a specific channel it will reset all other channels image scope provides also analysis tool from the view menu or pressing ctrl plus g it provides three algorithms here we are going to deal with the first one positive pixel count all of them are handling the positive pixel counts but with different versions and algorithms and the aim of the positive pixel count algorithm in the image scoop is the ability to quantify the amount of a specific stain in the whole slide image and you need to specify a color and three intensity ranges weak positive and strong and for each pixel that satisfies the color specification it will give the pixel whether it's weak positive or strong so as you see here when we selected the positive pixel count 2004 you can define in the input options the width and the height you can define the hue value and width and the saturation you can also specify the different levels w here means the upper limit of weak positive pixels and s here means strong positive pixels by playing and updating the values here you can distinguish between different levels using the intensities based on the hue and saturation for example if we pressed on analyze and then selected analyze view it will start based on the initial values to analyze the whole slide image or the whole view in front of us it's processing and after it completes it starts to identify each of the region based on the hue and saturation to a specific class if you press it again 
apply real-time tuning of the settings you are getting by simply using this window and put it in a specific region you can also enlarge that region and play with the different configurations and based on these configurations the region you are selecting or viewing currently will be updated for example if you have increased the saturation you will see that most of the region converted to blue let's decrease it to for example that value it's updated you can also change the hue width and value if you need let's increase it to 0.7 you can also handle the ranges of the weak medium and strong regions if you need let's stop tuning you can also set tool to analyze a specific region you have annotated for example let's draw a rectangle around this region and then you press on analyze to select an action and then you press on analyze annotations it will start to analyze the annotations in the current view as you see here and if you closed the analyze option the analysis of that annotation will be kept you can also access it using the annotations menu as you see here the first layer contains a single region and the analysis of it will be described here such as the algorithm version and name different configurations pixel area hue value and width and so on you will find here also set of values for the number of weak positive pixels number of positives number of strong positives and so on and you can get also the ratio so you can use this value as bio features or biomarkers that can be also used in your classifier you will have different annotations each of them is classified or analyzed using the positive pixel algorithm also these features can be exported using this button to export a grid to excel spreadsheet if you press on it you can simply export for example test as you see here it it's exported to test.xls which is an extension to microsoft excel but an older version let's open it it will present the different features for each of the regions so if you have multiple regions here you have annotated for example 25 you will have 25 records that can be used as features to your classifier or model based on numerical features instead of images you can close all images or close a specific image if you don't need to deal with that currently let's close all images as we have manipulated the image with the name 05 it will ask you if you need to save what you have annotated and analyzed if you need to save it press on yes if you don't press on no what about if you have saved a file and you need to open it again you simply will open that image for example let's open a02 because a02 if you want to the description of the dataset pach dataset you will find that all all slide images that this is prefixed with the letter a is annotated if you simply sorted them by name you will find for example a02 with extension .xml and also a07 with the extension xml which is the notation of the whole slide image with the same name so simply if you open the annotated file that you applied annotation on it or you have downloaded a dataset with a specific annotations or predefined annotations the annotation will be imported to the image scoop as you see here it will be loaded with the annotations made by clinicians and doctors as described in the dataset description as you see here some regions are benign some regions are sarcinoma in situ and some regions are sarcinoma invasive and each of them differ on the severity of the cancer tissue so in this lecture we have dealt with image scope application know how to download it make different annotations create different layers and annotate different regions to a specific layers and then we handled the annotations menu how to add descriptions and text to it and then 
how to analyze the different regions and manipulate the different options and finally we have learned how to open annotated whole slide images that we have previously annotated or predefined annotations by other people.